You guys are doing Hell Hades a disservice by trying to start drama over this. Hell Hades has a great relationship with Polarium. I, for one, would like to keep it that way so we can keep using their awesome tools and etc. As you already know, Hell Hades is making a game called God Forge. This is the meme here. It's all jokes. He says, I'm making a game with mythical gods. It's a different market from Raid Shadow Legends. Polarium says, Oh, really? And then shoves, shoves him off the ledge. Look who they brought into Raid almost immediately after. I'm not saying that, you know, this was planned or anything or in response to Hell Hades doing his own thing. Um, but, you know, the, the timeline seems kind of, you know, interesting to say the least. So the reason I brought this up, why I'm sharing this is because on one of my videos, well, actually the get ready for some Asgard video, IPR Jungle says, do you think this is a direct slap in the face to Godforge to Hell Hades' game to release quote unquote gods on the same week Hell Hades promoted Godforge? Now I thought the same thing. I was low key thinking this, but like consciously, I never really thought about it until he brought it up. And then he, um, you know, he gives his own thought into it. To be honest, it's hard to compete with Polarium. I mean, Polarium is a billion dollar company. And I actually wanted to take some time to look at the God Forge characters, a little bit of the art on Hell Hades' uh, Fateless server. I signed up for the beta. I'm interested in the game. Obviously, a lot of us who play Raid are. I mean, it is Hell Hades, and he's got like a good amount of people who play Raid, a lot of the people that we follow, behind him. And honestly, like, I'm all for it. I want to know what you guys think. Would you guys be open to me? like doing fateless content to be to me doing godforge content like on this channel are you okay with that what are your thoughts and opinions are you cool with me putting out raid content and godforge content at the same time this is one of his characters in the game loki looks like valkyrie and arbiter a little bit oh uh, here's another one of the gods in the game another one of the gods kind of looks like a like a dwarven machine more it looks it's got the a more age of the empires almost type of art style to it so this is what it's going to look like on mobile he's got hercules obviously and this looks very familiar champion rosters you know ascension and everything stars whatnot and here's some gameplay on the So it looks like it's going to be kind of like an RPG turn-based style thing. I mean, we're already used to it, right? It's just the way that it looks is going to be approached differently. You know, in Raid, we have the, you know, this style, but it looks like for, for Godforge, it's going to be something closer along the lines of, you know, behind over the shoulder type thing. And I'm all for it. It looks good. It's looking good. The art style is different than what I'm accustomed to i will admit but the, it's not a, like it's not like a turn off it's just something for me to i guess kind of really dive into and get used to so there's that so there's there's some uh you know hell hades is uh stuff right um artwork right there his his leak so far i'm excited for it let's see what people are saying from what we know god forge is in the same genre and is basically meant to draw heavily from rsl mechanics so who did it first I'm not saying Polarium is intentionally doing something directly competitive here, but it's only a small part of Fateless's new game, with Polarium stated six month dev lead time. It is kind of spicy, this showing up seven months after Fateless announced their IP theme though. True. Even if we see a new Forge Gods faction, where they shove a bunch of gods and legends, <laughs> GNL, which would be quite blatant. It will come down to who executes it better. That is true. I, for one, hope any competition makes both games better, right? And this is, you know, let's break this down for a bit. Yeah, it is kind of weird. It's a little bit spicy that Hell Hades comes out with, you know, his characters and then immediately after, almost seemingly immediately after, Polarium comes out with the Asgardians. You know what I mean? It could just be a good back and forth between 
Hell, Hades, and Polarium. But ultimately, he's right. It all just boils down to who does it better? Who's going to do the gods better? Any competition between companies is always going to be good for the consumer, for us. Because we're on the receiving end of that. Every time a, co a company competes with another company, it usually means that we're going to get a better product, right? Because the community is the only decent thing about Raid. Yeah, I can feel it. I mean, like, I like, and I've said this before, and I've said that exact thing before, but I'll say it again, just like I've said that exact thing, but again, um, like, I think Polarium bullshit aside, I think Raid is a great game. Like, I, I wouldn't be playing it for five plus years if it wasn't that. But honestly, the glue that's holding this together, me making content and doing content for Raid, is the community. Like, I love chilling and vibing with you guys, to be honest. And if you guys weren't here, if the community wasn't in Raid, I probably wouldn't have stayed as long. Uh, seeing one of the big players in that community step up and make some competition for Polarium is refreshing to see. Yeah, I mean, it is Hell Hades, the biggest one of all of us, and I think, you know, Ash is a close second, if not the second. So for him to really take the reins into his own hands and say, why don't we do this better? Fateless seems to be making a literal raid clone. Is it a raid clone if they do it better? Just like he says, because this is how everything works, right? In life, there's competition. Steal like an artist, right? Like people do this all the time on YouTube. People, or not even just on YouTube, but just like in, in trends in general, right? Someone puts out a meme, someone takes that meme, makes it a little better or puts their own spin on it and that one blows up or there's a YouTube or a TikTok trend or Instagram trend, so on and so forth. Someone does a YouTube video, someone else takes that YouTube video, does it a little better. If Fateless takes Raid, makes it better, is it fair to say that it's a clone? I think it really just depends, right? Will the community switch games? Will I switch? Kind of just depends. Is it worth abandoning one gotcha trap for another? Time will tell, I guess. I mean, is... Is Hell Hades really out here trying to make another greedy cash grab? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. I don't want to believe that. I like to think that Hell Hades and the entire team behind him are here for the community, right? I don't think they're going to do that. But again, corporate stuff might come up and the game might come out like that. As long as they don't have like 20 pop-ups, <laughs> you know what I mean? Should be good. All's fair in hate and war. Competition is a two-way street. I hope HH and his team click pol uh, kick Polarium's ass. They probably will. He's got a lot of gripes about the pay-to-win uh, pay styles mechanic. Seems like he wants to almost copy the game but fix the issues the community has since Polarium doesn't want to do it. I know he does free-to-play challenges all the time to show it's possible to succeed free-to-play, but every video he has some gripes. Might even make sure there's not a ton of trash-tied champions. True. It's easy to say you love free to play, but when free to play brings in money to cover the bills and you seem if you make a small change, which makes the game easier for people to get ahead and pay, you're now covering your bills and it makes a pretty penny, then you do it again and again. I don't know his whole situation and he seems like a decent guy, but you don't get into something like this to break even. That's true. Plus, I'm sure there's still going to be pay to win mechanics unless he wants to throw ads in the game every 30 second seconds, then no one's going to play it. I do think he'll make it more balanced, though. Watcher of Realms is decently balanced. Genshin Impact seems to be playable as free-to-play. It's playable. Genshin Impact is playable, but it's a lot more fun when you pay. I guess that's any game, really. I heard it's balanced, but stop playing it right after you learn how to cook. Warframe is kind of gotcha. Great mechanics, free-to-play, pay-to-win. Cold Brew responded, Mythology is one of the easiest non-copyright IP you can create from a game with tons of characters, lore, and designs. We literally had Berserker in Barbarians since the game was launched which we, uh, we have Wukong, which is a character from Chinese mythology. You're overthinking this stuff, lol. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Because if mythology is one of the easiest non-copyright IP, which is true, it is. Why didn't they do the Asgardian sooner? I don't know. You know, maybe he's right. Maybe we're overthinking about it. But I mean, you know, the questions are there. Even if it's true or not, for me, it doesn't matter. It would be a little bit better than Raid, Lada, Raid Legend Shadows. 
I'm in. Maybe they will finally stop doing dick moves and content. X months waiting for change. Hydra. Add personal rewards for fuck's sake. Polarium's newest event has nothing to do with Fateless. A brand new indie game dev is nowhere near on Polarium's radar in, ter in terms of decisions the company is making. Maybe? I don't know. Is it? What do you guys think? Do you think Fateless is on Polarium's radar? I think they've noticed. But he's saying that Polarium is too big to care about somebody else. A, a new indie game developer. I don't know. Because everybody starts out indie, right? Until they succeed. Then they're the underdog, right? I think they're on Hell Hades. Or I think Hell Hades is definitely on their radar. I mostly agree, but one of the largest reasons RSL is so successful because of their CC support. True. I suspect they recognize that and at least consider and analyze Hell Hades' thoughts. Maybe they don't agree or go in a different direction or whatever, but I guarantee it's at very least a conversation they've had. And Hell Hades still makes content for Raid. I'll, although I think people have been saying in the comments that he's kind of checked out because he's understandably going into his own game. But, um, you know, as always, let me know what you guys think. The implications with posts like these is that Polarium saw Fateless is making a new gacha game with figures for myths and said, oh shit. We better do something similar as a brief event at the exact moment they reveal their game title so they don't steal our thunder. Completely ridiculous. All Raid Shadow Legends content creators exist only because Raid is a successful game that spends tons of money on advertising. All audience of CC is paid by Polarium. And no new or existing players are here because of content creators. Some of them actually quit and game still runs. Yeah, he's not wrong. I mean... But, but then again, if I wasn't doing raid content, I'd be doing something else. I mean, I do have two other channels. Uh, because raid is a six-foot game. Yeah, so um, HH is the biggest raid content creator. Of course, they're on the radar. This is a good point. He is raid's biggest content creator. Of course, they're on the radar. The radar. Bold of you to assume a content creator isn't on their radar. A top content creator isn't on their radar. Like me, I'm a small content creator. I, I would Any decision I make probably... More, I'm like 99% sure isn't going to affect Polarium or anything. But somebody like Ash or Hell Hades making moves, you goddamn sure they're going to see something. Where do you draw this deep insight from? I can assume you only see this as a source in a mirror as it is too low and behind you to be seen conventionally, possibly clouded with a thick brown substance. Shit. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You guys are doing Hell Hades a disservice by trying to start drama over this. Hell Hades has a great relationship with Polarium. I, for one, would like to keep it that way so we can keep using their awesome tools and etc. Yeah, that's a good point. See you next fall. Deaths to Polarium and Raid. 1k mythicals. 1k per mythical and half of them are garbage. Garbage. Raid's last faction, whatever it's going to be called, has seen has been in development for a long while, years. I don't think it's a direct response to some response to some competitors' moves. It can be coincidence. Polarium has had a lot of time to think about their last faction on their own. Okay, so this is an old post two days ago when we were still talking about whether or not um, they were coming up with a new faction. Glad to see so many people are optimistic about Hell Hades turning industry upside down, but really, we know the landscape. Gotcha is too profitable. It's here to stay. Fadeless is hardly unique. Is it even playable? Uh, no one has made me think, wow, they need to compete with Watcher of Realms and new games more so anyway, so I don't know. Makes me think of Xenonauts and how they got crushed by the release of Ferox's XCOM. Fateless is entering a hugely saturated market. They have a lot more than Polarium to worry about. Just internet drama. <laughs>